have you ever spent an entire day pasting images into Excel only to get this error? Or have the images just not been quite right because as merchants, trust me, I've been there, can be perfectionists. Well, in this episode of Tulio's Fast Forward series, I show you how to make this headache and others a little thing of the past with Tulio. Let's go. Okay, here we are in Tulio's assortment planning module. I'm gonna point out some specifics here to get you acclimated. We are currently looking at knits, which is in clothing, and specifically for women for fall 2022. We are looking at this assortment in a line view, which you can see in the upper right corner here. Now, as you look at this, you might be saying, this looks like my line plan in Excel. And you'd be right in the sense that we have all the stats for each SKU, like average ticket, average cost, and launch date but you'd be wrong in the sense that this data was not hand typed into cells, but rather it's coming from your systems of record like NetSuite or Shopify. So instead of typing your little fingers away, getting them sore and eyes crossed, Tulio will build your lines out for you automatically or automagically. So this looks just like your Excel file, right? But I have a secret that I've been hiding from you. And since I'm rocking my full on Hermione Granger hair today, let me just get out my magic wand, and Accio Fotio. Unlike Excel, where images break if you add a column, sort, or need to move anything, literally anything at all, unlike that, in Tulio, we love images. They seem, you know, really important to ensuring the assortment. Ah, yeah. going to look good online or in stores. So we treat product images like the stars of the show because they are. As a former merchant, I know that they are. Not only are the images there, but you can click in to expand them, then reducio fotio, aka click anywhere off the image to get rid of it. But wait, there's more. So you're living your best life in this advanced line plan, and then your stores team comes and says, we need to see the assortment more visually. Instead of copying the image and all their details in a PowerPoint or casting a bat bogey hex on them, all you gotta do is go up and to the right to the gallery view. Almost like magic, but actually just like good software, the gallery view transforms the data into a visual forward presentation. Now let's say you wanted to see these products in the timeline they're scheduled to arrive. For that, you go to the drop down here and select product flow. Quickly scanning in this, you can see you're expecting four sweaters in October, two in September, and so on. When we expand in here October again, we get a nice visual of the products we're expecting to kick off our sweater season. But of course, there's always someone who wants to see the assortment in a different way. All the puff sleeves or all the cashmere or all the black to satisfy anyone seemingly endless sorting desires, we can quickly go to our group dropdown, find the attribute, in this case color, select it, and then have the assortment show only that attribute. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you haven't yet seen our video on hindsighting up here, our assortment planning module helps you take winning sweaters from last season and brings them into this season while reconciling the line plans to your top level plans. Tulio is a powerful tool and we'd love to show you more. Go here, to request a demo and we might get to talk more about Tulio or my wizard skills, who knows. Stick around for the credits or the little recap of our Harry Potter references used throughout this video. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this for you. See you next time. Welcome to the post vid Harry Potter Easter egg segment. For those of you not looking to get back to work quite yet, the first spell I used was Accio, which means to summon objects. This was first referenced in the book by Hermione, my icon, obviously, look at my hair, who taught it to none other than Harry Potter himself, who went on to use it to summon all sorts of shit like brooms, his glasses, the tried wizard cup, and his frog. Next, I use Reducio, which is a charm that shrinks an enlarged object back to its original size. I'm currently campaigning for all softwares to use this term for this idea, um, but in Harry Potter fandom, you might recall that this is one of the charms Harry attempts and fails miserably at. In the Deathly Hallows part one, Harry engorges the spider, but can't get it to shrink back to its previous size. Absolutely terrifying.
Okay, and this next one is just for fun, but the bat bogey hex is a hex that someone um, that turns someone's boogers into bats. And I know that sounds childish, but just imagine for a moment that someone annoying you at work and casting that spell on them, it's pretty entertaining. It gets you a laugh throughout the work day. Then Expandia, I just made that up. And finally, you probably caught on to the references to the houses and who can forget the sorting hat, which we just couldn't resist the module using the assortment hat. Come on, it basically wrote itself. And again, hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing Wizard for the day. I am a massive Harry Potter fan, and this was a really fun exercise for me in my work day. And now with that, Ivanesco. Bye!